So the Bengals decided to make a quote unquote move by promoting Greg Maben, a cornerback, to the active roster. We're going to talk about this disappointing move on the next episode of New Stripe City. Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie. Who is this dude? Like, for real. Like, are we serious now? Is this what we're doing now? We're just really grabbing random guys off of the street to sign. Like, you look across at Pittsburgh, and they go out, and they make not one but two moves. They trade for Minka Fitzpatrick. They also trade for a tight end once Vance McDonald co- goes down because they realize that they have a weakness. But obviously, we have a weakness at the linebacker position and a number of other positions, possibly the offensive line, you could say. And we're going and signing a guy off of the street that nobody knows who he is. What is going on with this front office, man? I just don't understand it. It's like nothing against this guy right he's he's trying to live his dream welcome to the jungle uh they they claim that this move was made in order to add some depth behind you know darius phillips and tony mccray but this is not a move like this is like what who is this guy like i i'm bruh i am just speechless like duke duke has lost me with this one uh, you know, heading into a game 0-3, no linebacker workouts, and Greg Maven is your best answer? I just don't know, like, what this is, man. Obviously, B.W. Webb got hurt. Obviously, Darquez Denard is hurt. But how does this guy make you better? And how is he the best guy out there for the job? Um, corner, to me, isn't really a weakness. You got Drake Kirkpatrick, you've got William Jackson III, you've got Darius Phillips, you've got Tony McRae. Um, Apparently, they think that Mason Rudolph is going to be lighting it up through the air. I think the exact opposite. I think that they're going to probably try to pound it. But somehow, we just decided to sign Greg Maben. Like, that's not even a passive-aggressive move. And you're talking about guys like Sam Hubbard or in, you know, walking boots and things of that nature. And we're signing this guy. I, I'm i really confused, guys. Like, let me know. I'm just not here for it. I'm just really not here for this move. And I, you know, some of you guys heard me talk about Dalton. Dalton's not going to get the only criticism here. This front office, these are not moves to put this team into a position to win. I'm not saying to go out and and trade for somebody that's an all pro or anything like that like the Steelers literally traded a fifth round pick for a guy a Nick Vanette that was a third round pick a couple years ago we can't do that we can't do that at the linebacker position we can't do that anywhere this move just really puzzles me um, and I just wanted to rant about it. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. And as usual, I'll leave you with a who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday.